Do you guys know that super cool effect you see in like films and stuff that usually either involve some form of magic or like force action where the main character like very dramatically stares at something. He just goes and he pulls something. Spoiler warning, Captain America and the freaking Thor's hammer. Best thing ever. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to pull it off because I used the same trick on Star Wars Duel of the Force as well as God of War Rise of the Sun where the main characters either pulled like the God of War Leviathan Axe towards them or like the Scythe or Lightsaber so it's a pretty cool way of doing things for short films or actual films or anything that you want. So let's take a look at some of the examples that I've created. Really awesome, like I said guys, it's a really straightforward effect, so I'm just gonna give you a few tips and tricks of how to pull it off easily on the day of the shoot, because it doesn't really involve any VFX work this particular way. So it's really approachable, I would say. Now before we get started guys, make sure to check out the Creatix Vault, full of um, assets and project files from all the tutorials across the Creatix um, tutorial series, as well as the Creatix Store for some LUTs, VFX, SFX, and After Effects project files. Links will be in the description. So with that said, I'm gonna open up the shots and I'm gonna take you guys step by step of why it was shot, why it was shot that way, and the tips and tricks. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here we are within After Effects and I have my two compositions ready directly from the short films, so we can take a look. So let's start with the God of War one because there are actually two um, different ways you can pull this off and I'm gonna start with the easier one and I think it's pretty straightforward so let's take a look at the clip one more time really really quick let's see going and boom that's it so what's cool about this is that you actually just use um, another person in your team to um, throw the axe or saber or anything that you want to your actor and they grab it so the timing needs to be right and the further away the camera can be the better now in this example actually um in the god of war short film all the props were made of foam so they were extremely light so it was actually quite challenging to throw it a long distance without it you know being affected by the wind and making it look weird so in this case this is as far as we could go but if you actually guys notice uh, my friend just does the thing the move the axe comes and the whole thing is straightforward um, the thing that sells it actually is the sound effect so I really want to put a lot of um, make sure that you guys uh, understand the importance of sound design because if we take a look one more time Boom. So there are two instances. One is like the recall sound effect right here. And then the actual, once the axe reaches the hand, a cool um, axe recall sound effect, I guess. There we go. So um, that's the first way you can do this. And depending on, you know, if it's a big weapon, it's easier to pull this off because the actor just grips the grip of the weapon I guess but if it's something smaller like a lightsaber it's actually quite tricky to pull it off so in that way we need to use the reverse time um, method which is right here let's take a look at this one and that's it so as you can see here we have a different method but the the trick here is first in the first shot which is real time we can see the character um calling the lightsaber and we can actually see where the lightsaber is in relation to him where in the god of war one we couldn't really tell where the axe was 
So this way we first have a real-time shot of the character looking at the thing that he wants to recall and then the next shot is the one in reverse. So we shot this in reverse and then we reversed it in post by, you know, let's say this one was the clip. You right click, you go to time and then you go to time reverse. And that's it. Now you have a reversed um, asset. So actually, if I go frame by frame here, I'm going to split my layer so we can look at real time. Go. And of course, this one does have some VFX, which is, of course, the lightsaber. Um, very epic, if I might say, and awesome. Um, and by the way, guys, if you want to make a short film, that is based on Star Wars. Um, in the Creative Store, you can find a complete Star Wars film kit full of sound effects and visual effects that were all used in the production of this short. If you guys um, want to have the same assets and stuff, so you can create something awesome with the Force and lightsabers, because they're pretty cool. Um, so anyways, so this clip, if I right-click, go to Time and Time Reverse. Now, this is the real time. So as you can see, what I did is we placed the camera, we did the focus and all that stuff, and then I acted the scene in reverse. So I was looking to the direction that I supposedly called the lightsaber. I ignited first with a wrist twist, I guess, and then I throw it. Now, I did try to throw it to um, <sighs> a friend. Um, that he was helping, but again, because it was small and it's made out of metal, it was a bit tricky. Um, and we did end up um, clipping the ignition button quite a few times. So guys, super glue is an extremely important thing to have on the day of the shoot. Like in the God of War, we broke both of our weapons, both the scythe and the axe, and we used super glue um, to fix them. And by fixing them, I mean just barely, like we barely made it through the day. Um, so yeah, you act the scene in reverse and make sure, you know, the face and the movement make sense. And don't keep it for too long because it's actually extremely tricky to do things in reverse in real time. So to, as you can see here, we first showcase where the weapon is, when the actor is. Then we have a really quick reverse shot and then we're back to normal again. And here it helps because I ignite the saber in reverse. Um, if we put it back to the way that it was, and it really helps sell the effect. Now, if we go, so that is the second way, which is the reverse technique. And this one was the real time technique when you have thrown on someone um, throwing the weapon at you. That said, we used the reverse technique in the God of War um, Rise of the Sun short film as well and it's actually right here as you saw in the preview if i go right here and we try to play through a bit oh yeah the struggle here and this one now both of these shots were in reverse actually all three so you, we have this one we see the actor doing in real time the calling um action the next shot is in reverse this one is that in reverse and then we cut here and then we see the actor doing the recall action again. So we establish that movement. And then this shot is in reverse as well. So it goes real time, reverse, real time, reverse, real time. So that's it. And as you can see, the bits that are in reverse are super quick. And you can also play with like in the moment of impact, right? Like if we go forward frame by frame in the moment of impact, we're actually missing a frame because I use the same technique as like when you have a fight, uh, fight scene, right? Um, and you throw a punch. Um, in order to make it more impactful, you should remove a frame or two in the impact. So that's the same thing that I did here with all these shots to make sure that the impact is not as smooth because we're actually throwing something in real time. Um, by removing a frame or two, I'm actually make where I can actually make that impact of like recall way more um impactful <laughs> I guess like you know it's a more violent movement than what it actually is in real time and that's actually it um if I recall there's one more scene like at the far end where we reveal the true um villain and it's right here and we actually used the 
real time technique here. So uh, the actress reaches a hand out and someone just gives her the scythe. Um, and that is it. Now, like I said, in the real time scenario, the further away you can get, the more awesome. And you can actually combine it. Like, actually, if we have shown where the axe was in relation to the actor when he called it, um, I think it would have been a bit better. Um, and then we cut to this one, like how we did in the Star Wars one. Like, we first show, and then it's the recall action. But you guys get it. Um, pretty straightforward, quite easy. Just make sure that your actor um, and the cameraman practice it a bit to make sure it looks good. Like, where the eye line is, where the actor looks, and the timing of everything. And it's gonna be good. Uh, really good. Okay, guys. So, that's a wrap for this week's episode, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah. Make sure to stick around, guys, if you want more awesome film tips and VFX stuff and all things creative, I guess. And I'll catch you guys next one. Until then, you guys know it's coming. Stay awesome. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.